many people struggle with emotional stability when they no longer have the life they used to, especially when you have been thrown head first into those changes without expecting any of it. And now you have to deal with the challenges of no longer being the person you used to. Maybe you got divorced. Maybe you were told that you have a terminal illness. Maybe you had an accident that changed your life forever. Or maybe you just have grown older and might have fewer limitations that were not there before. All of those and many more, many more are situations that make coping with your emotions a challenge. And all of those are life-changing situations that can very easily make you lose your wits, make you lose your purpose. So let's talk about the importance of having a purpose every single day of your life. Hello everyone, Dr. Faltas here. Let's talk about having a purpose every day of your life, creating one. It doesn't have to be a big one, tiny one, but getting in the habit of creating a purpose throughout your day. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, the most common mental health condition for older adults are depression, anxiety, and mood disorders. You don't need to be, you don't need to be a grown person to suffer from depression, anxiety, and mood disorder. But this video is a little more toward uh, grown adults who are suffering from those emotional and mental conditions due to changes in their life. And as the result of those changes, they are losing their purpose. Some of the life changes that can impact your emotional health as you grow older are coping with illnesses, loneliness, and social isolation. Losing a loved one, and I'm not talking about losing a loved one to death. You can lose a person when they are still alive and well but then you lose all the emotional connection with that person and all social interaction with that person and most importantly you lose your purpose with that person that can also be as when you lose a loved one many people have to accept that their children are not around as much as they used to or as much as they would like them to be because now your children have a life they have their own responsibility they have things to take care of they have their own life and they don't have that much time to come around as you would like to which can make a person to lose their purpose. But regardless of the age, anyone can struggle with finding a purpose in life. Sometimes finding the emotional motivation that drives us to take on new challenges is really hard. The motivation that we need to get out of bed every day and go to work, it's not there. That motivation is missing. It is non-existent. The motivation that we need to go to school, for example, or to take the children to school if I have any children. The motivation that you need to go to the gym, to go food shopping, to clean the house, or even something as simple as the motivation that you need to take a shower is no longer there. And even when you have a partner, family, money, friends, a job. Sometimes people struggle to find the meaning they need to push themselves to continue surviving in the emotional jungle that represents humanity. One thing that can help us, girlfriend, regardless of the age, 
is finding a purpose. Purpose and motivation are intertwined. One cannot be there without the other. Purpose is the mental sense of a goal driving your daily routine, driving your daily process of living and existing. Motivation is the momentum that gives you purpose or direction to operate your daily existing toward your goals. You, you need a purpose to find the motivation that you need to continue. For example, let's say you're getting married. Your goal is to get married. Your purpose is to fit in the wedding dress you want to wear for your wedding. That wedding dress that you have been dreaming about for months. Your motivation is the mental image embedded in your head about how astonishing you are going to look in the wedding dress you want. Your purpose is to get into the wedding dress. Your goal is to get married. And the motivation that is driving you toward your purpose and goal is that image that you have that vision that you have looking gorgeous in your wedding dress. Having a purpose is finding meaning in the moment. It is rethinking, reshaping, exploring, and committing to what makes you feel complete. According to academic research, Having a purpose will lead you to feel more satisfied about your life. Having a purpose is extremely, extremely important. And I cannot stress this long enough. Having a purpose is extremely important and it should never be taken for granted. It has been validated through academic research over and over that having a purpose has a significant contribution to your mental health and emotional well-being. Having a purpose helps with stress, give you a sense of personal control. It helps us to find a reason to continue moving forward and engage more with life. In one academic study, and I'm quoting now, adults who reported a higher sense of purpose also reported fewer daily physical symptoms than those with a lower sense of purpose. And the results were so significant that they decided to publish it in academic research so we all know the benefits of having a purpose. Another study also shows that having a purpose helps us to live longer, give us a greater sense of understanding and purpose that can give us more significant guidance to a healthier behavior promoting a better mental health, memory, brain functioning, and emotional stability. Researcher also suggested that a sense of purpose even reduce the risk of pathological cognitive malfunctioning among older adults. Having a purpose is powerful, my friend. Having a purpose is powerful. And I'm going to repeat that one more time because I actually like the sound of it. Having a purpose is powerful. Purpose keeps us from constantly worrying about the tiny small things, about the tiny small meaningless stuff around us. Having a purpose helps us to focus on the essential things in your life, giving us the opportunity for a better quality of life. 
mental and emotional stability, a longer life, and a sharper mind. When we don't have a purpose, we get depressed. We find no meaning in being here and need motivation to continue. Our brain starts shutting down. Our body stops responding to the brain. And we lost the ability to find encouragement and inspiration that we need to push ourselves to continue. Some people have committed suicide because they lost the purpose in life. They have money, a partner, a good job, family, friends, everything they needed externally. Some of them, even famous people, with what looks like nothing to worry in the world, but mentally and emotionally at the core of their existence, they have no purpose. They had no purpose. And the only way out that they saw at the moment is to be gone. But listen, girlfriend, to find a purpose in your life, you don't need to dig a hole to take you to the inner core of the earth. You do not need to dig a hole to take you to the inner core of the earth. To find a purpose, sometimes you have to take a look around you. But you need to look at your life and your surroundings from a different perspective. You need to look at everything from a different angle. Look at things with a different goal in mind and focus on your vision, your intention, and you will almost always find something that is going to give you a purpose. A purpose doesn't have to be a dissertation project. It doesn't have to be a thesis project. A purpose can be something as simple as eating an apple a day to increase your fiber intake with the goal of regulating your digestive system. Or if you are a smoker, for example, your purpose doesn't have to be to throw now a whole box of cigarettes a day. That's not sustainable. The reality is that that's not sustainable. If you're a smoker, your purpose could be to smoke half a cigarette less and then increasing to one cigarette less. And eventually, you're going to stop smoking one cigarette less a day with the goal in mind to stop smoking. It's going to take you time, but you're going to get there. A purpose can be anything that gives us hope and direction toward a goal. It can be something as simple as completing one of the things you have written on your to-do list since 2020. A purpose can be anything that gives us hope and direction. It can be something as simple as completing one of the things you have written on your to-do list since 2020. You can make a purpose of helping someone because you want to help someone rather than because you have to help someone. All my life I've had a struggle with doing things because I have to rather than because I preferred or I want to. And I know there's a lot of things that I have to do. But when someone actually tells me that I have to do something, it makes me feel mandated and obligated with no choice. And I don't like the feeling of having no choice. That's a struggle that my mother and I have been dealing since I can remember. She likes to say, you have to do this. You have to do that. You have to go to this party. You have to go. You have to do. But I never liked the feeling of it. I I'm more one of those people that I ask, do you want to, do you rather, would you like? I think 
it gives the person a feeling of a choice rather than when I have to do something, it feels like a burden. So helping someone because you want to and love to do so can give you a purpose. For example, I don't have to make these videos but I want to make these videos because they give me the purpose of empowering women to be the best they can, to empower people to understand their emotions and use their emotions as the best tool ever to make decisions, to solve problems, problem to guide their life to find mindfulness to find emotional wellness volunteering 10 minutes to mentor someone in something that you're good at or mentoring someone because you're older and you have more experience those are little things that can give you a purpose doing something to take care of your mental physical and emotional health can give you some direction and purpose. I used to wake up at four o'clock in the morning with the only purpose of having half an hour for myself, which I would use just to smell and sip on coffee. I love the smell of coffee in the morning. And I would sit there staring at the empty space, think about nothing, and just listening to my own rhythmic breathing before my children and my mom woke up. Because I know all peace will be gone as soon as my Irish triplex woke up. That is what we call nowadays mindfulness. But 30 years ago, it wasn't as popular as it is right now. Back then, half an hour of solitude helped me to create a mental and emotional balance that I needed to continue with my day. For you, it could be reading a book or listening to a book. Go for a walk, sit under the sun on a bench in a park during your half an hour lunch. I used to do that all the time. I still do that sometimes. When I'm feeling overwhelmed at work, I will stop whatever I'm doing and I just go outside. I look at the sun, look at the people, and I just take a few minutes to think about nothing at all. But to have a purpose in life, my friend, you know to look at things from a different perspective, a different point of view, and a different expectation. Having a daily purpose give you a sense of accomplishment, boost your self-esteem, help you to stay focused, and give you something to expect from yourself every day. And on those days when you feel lost and overwhelmed, Having a purpose can give you a sense of stability and control over your emotions. So please, 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 please take a few seconds each day to set a purpose and commit to it. Because girlfriend, that habit will make a big difference in your emotional well-being. Again, you don't need to dig a hole to take you to the core of the earth to create a purpose. Anything, anything. Start small. If you want to read a book, rather than waiting to have three hours available to read a book, which probably might never come, make it a purpose to read a few pages a day with the purpose of reading one book a month. I give you an example. I love to read, but I can't sit and read as I used to because I always have something pending completion. I always have something pending completion. I also commute three hours of my day to work. An hour and a half each way. So as soon as I get in my car, what's the first thing I do? I 
plug in my audio box. I don't mind the time driving because I see it as a spending time reading, growing my knowledge, and growing my intellect. And I also take that time to cash up with my phone calls to friends and family. Driving is the time that I use to think and plan the topics from my videos. And I use voice memo to record my ideas so they don't fly away. The difference is in your perspective, in your vision, your mindset, your purpose, how you could, how committed your purpose and how committed you are to your purpose. If you have a commitment to your purpose, you'll find a way and you'll find the time. You'll make it work, girlfriend. Focus your purpose on your personal goals. Where you want to be in a month, in a year, in five years. How are you planning to get there? Your purpose should be, how are you planning to get there? How are you planning to commit to your goal? Start taking the steps that are going to help you to get there. One step at a time. And if I still haven't convinced you how important is creating a purpose for your emotional well-being, your emotional health, and your emotional stability, and your mental and physiological health, here are five more reasons why you should always have a purpose. Motivation. Having a purpose provides you with a reason to get up every day and face the challenges of life because it is a source of energy and enthusiasm. Direction. A clear purpose guides you in making decisions and focusing your effort on what really, really, really matters to you. Three, meaning and significance. Having a purpose brings a sense of personal meaning and fulfillment. Giving you a feeling that your life has a purpose can increase satisfaction and happiness with yourself inside and out. For resilience. With a solid purpose, girlfriend, it becomes easier to overcome obstacles and setbacks because you have a more significant reason to persevere and keep trying. And finally, girlfriend, connections. Often, life purposes are related to contributing to something larger, something more significant in your life, which can help you to strengthen the connections with yourself which can help you to strengthen the connections that you have with yourself and others. A life purpose can bring clarity and direction and personal satisfaction, helping you live a more meaningful life. If you like this video, please like and follow for more on emotions.